Bruh, no, like seriously though, for real, y'all. I know I ain't tripping. Is this not like some of the creepiest ish you ever seen in your life, fam? Like a dead body standing up in the club looking over you while you party. I mean, some people online say it's disrespectful. Some people say if that's how you want to go out, then he entitled to go out the way he choose. And I feel both sides. But for me personally, it's just a little creepy. Now, before I show you all the rest of this funeral, let me just give you a quick background on who you looking at. This is an artist out of Maryland, PG County to be exact. And he best known for his low tone whisper delivery and collaborations with artists like Hood Rich, Lil Dude and Lil Grey, just to name a few. Now, his first mixtape, Certified Goon, dropped in 2018, followed by Goon Wick and Big Six Four, which is a hood classic. It's safe to say that man was staying consistent because that same year he dropped Goon Rich Urkel also, followed by his first studio project, which was still serving the next year in 2019. Now, even though it was an EP, he still made some noise. Then he started collaborating with Lil Dude and he was feeling the vibe. So he went on and dropped two joint projects back to back. Now they also have singles together and visuals that you can check out that's available on YouTube right now. Go on and run them numbers up. So yeah, this is definitely sad news coming out of Maryland. He was a young dude on the rise, definitely hit it into a positive direction. He recently got out of jail and was ready to pursue on with his career and do some good things, man. So it's real bad and tragic that this happened to him, man, when his life was headed in a positive direction. Now let's get back to this funeral. He had his funeral at a club standing up. All right, first off, rest in peace to this man. He was a rapper out of D.C. A lot of people are upset that they had his funeral inside a club and that they basically taxidermied him, you know, and put him up there like that. Now, I know a lot of cultures that do that and they celebrate the death, you know, of their loved ones because to them, you know, it's a celebration because they're passing on to the next life. But my problem is, why you ain't have my man in a suit or something? Like, that hoodie was fire, but damn, he was looking like everybody else in the club. Now, what if somebody in there thought it was regular club night, bumped into homie, and he fell or some shit? Like, you don't accidentally bump into a man with a suit on. I'm just saying, he should have had something way better than what he had on. Anyway. They really had this man funeral at a club with his body just standing there. I've seen enough of this world.